Are you ready for some high adventure coming up next on the Mutual Audio Network? The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. And now, episode 129, The Falling Mercury. An explosion? On the Mercury? We're not 100% sure. Boldabar Control Center reported to us that the Mercury radio tight departure for immediate clearance for departure due to an active bomb on board. This is absolutely terrible. Do you have absolute confirmation that the bomb was detonated? Yes, and they lost comms and radar at the time of detonation. When you get here, we'll discuss our next move. Copy that, sir. I find this very hard to accept. I understand, Agent Simon. Nate and his crew were somewhat rogues in the Federation, but they were good people. I know their loss will be difficult for those of us who knew them. No, I find it hard to believe that someone as resourceful as Nate would allow himself, his crew, and his ship to just blow up without taking action. Maybe he's a hero. Maybe he knew that if the bomb detonated there, it would destroy many lives. So he took it to the outer edges of space. That's a very noble thought, Ginger. But I know Nate well enough to say that is not very likely. My guess is that once he reached a certain altitude, he jettisoned the bomb to explode harmlessly in the atmosphere. But what about their loss of signal? I'm not sure, but there has to be an explanation. There's a controller. Agent Simon, welcome. I just wish it were under better circumstances. Controller? Ginger? Take Agent Simon's things to his quarters. Then, return to Baldabar Control Center and monitor them for any radio traffic. Perhaps another craft witnessed the explosion. Yes, sir. This way, Tony. We've set up an emergency center here in the conference room. I trust that your trip was uneventful. The BSS crew was accommodating as always. Do you have any idea how the bomb found its way aboard the Mercury? Yes. Have a seat. I'll bring you up to speed. Wi-Fi. Put it there. How on earth did that happen? Nate landed at Titan yesterday and met up with Major Witt after the Major was transported by a Vortex Spur. Their customs inspectors met with Nate and discovered that Wi-Fi forced them to take on one of his fighters and transport it to the surface, since they don't have re-entry capabilities. And I take it that the fighter left them with a little insurance package in case Nate had thought to try to escape. That's precisely what happened. The last report that we had on the bomb was that one of Major Witt's troopers disarmed the bomb. Evidently, it had some sort of backup detonator. We speculate that it was perhaps either a hidden timer or a motion detector. While they were on the surface, I understand that they enlisted the service of one Jaffra the Bounty Hunter. Jaffra? Well, I thought by now someone would have ended his career. Why would they hire a bounty hunter? As you know, Lister and a small band of his followers hijacked a cargo ship. Yes, with the assistance of one Lenora of Titan IV. Nate and Major Witt told our contacts there that Jaffra has a good working knowledge of the Western Hemisphere, and he also claimed he knew which ship was hijacked. So, in summary, we are not sure if the Mercury was destroyed. Lister is in the Western Hemisphere rallying his troops. There's a rage fighter somewhere on Titan IV, and we have a missing cargo ship. Does that about sum everything up? As they say on your planet, in a nutshell. Then I suppose we need to get cracking. I can't believe your little plan actually worked. I also can't believe I got this bird off the ground and in flight. Don't sell yourself short, Gabby. I knew you could handle it. It's not that different from the primary trainers that the IDF uses. 
Texas. Do you have any idea how long ago that was? It's just like riding a two-wheeler. Once you get back on, it all comes back to you. I still don't know how you expect me to fly off to the West Coast. As soon as I deviate from my assigned flight pattern, IDF fighters will be on us in a heartbeat. Leave the details to me. We're fully aware of this exercise and we've taken measures to cover our tracks. Now turn to this heading I've dialed in. When your Red Wing leader calls, you tell him that you had a special scenario orders to deviate from your assigned search patterns to investigate suspicious rage activities. You gotta be kidding me. He'll never fall for that. I know they call you Gabby for short, but I also understand that you have a gift for Gab. Tell them that you're headed for those coordinates, and we'll do a low-altitude recon. And then what? There's a large clearing on the way to those coordinates. That's where we crash land. Please tell me you're joking. Make the turn now. I'm going to call Lister on our secure channel. Whatever. Master, we've made the turn to the open field. Excellent. They are standing by for your signal. We're close, Master. What signal? Red Wing 4, I'll show you deviating from your sign pattern. Please advise, over. What did I tell you? Red Wing 1, Red Wing 4, deviating in accordance with special op instructions for scenario play. Over. Uh, 4, this is 1, copy, break. Red Wing 3, this is 1. 1, this is 3, go ahead. 3, Red Wing 4 has been given a situation to play in the exercise. Extend your search grid to include their pattern until 4 rejoins. 3, we'll go. 4, proceed as ordered. Notify when you will be allowed to rejoin the main exercise. We'll go. Hard to believe he bought that. What do I do now? Continue on your course until we reach the clearing. What was all of this about a signal and we're ready and the crashing part? You'll see. We're planning a little diversion for the IDF. I take it that you're talking about the crash landing part. Still don't understand how much we've prepared for this. Originally, we would have had a ship full of rage supporters. Well, that didn't work out for you, did it? Just a slight change in plans. Okay, see that clearing? Yes, and what is that in the middle? Wait, is that a salvage C-10? I take it you've practiced flying as close to the ground as possible. Yes, it's called nap to the ground. Why? You're going to call in an emergency and give them these coordinates. We'll detonate a charge blowing up the salvage C-10, and you'll immediately fly NAP to the ground. What emergency? You're the pilot. Get creative. Do it now. Red Wing 1, this is Red Wing 4. In-flight emergency. This is not gameplay. We have an in-flight emergency. Number 2 engine showing 2600. I repeat, 2600. We're going down. Take it down now, avoid their radar, we'll soon meet up with Lister and then continue. Huh, what's this? Did somebody set up an old timers reunion and not tell me? Hey, <laughs> well, looky here, Horace. It's that rookie I trained. Rookie? Really? Say, Horace. Didn't you train someone as a rookie, too? As a matter of fact, I did. All right, all right. I guess we were all rookies at one point. So what brings you gentlemen to the SIS? We were coming to talk to Captain Richards about the Von Longer collar. Yeah, so I guess you heard. I uh, understand the lieutenant made the announcement at morning call. Was this her call? I mean, she just got here. From what I understand, Richards' performance in St. Louis got a lot of notice. When Captain McCall left, she was picked to fill the void. What we didn't know is that at the time, she had put in for a transfer to the Houston area. Is that where she's from? Yeah, her mother lives there now, and I think her health has been an issue. After the Von Longer case, she got herself back on the Houston radar. She'll be heading up one of their major divisions. Well, good for her. I know she'll do well there. Yeah, me too. I hope a replacement will cooperate with me if I need assistance. Regardless of who they bring in, you can count on me. As long as it's not illegal. Oh, I'd never do that. He'd never do that. I hear the feds swooped in on you like they did to me and Kate. Yeah, we were following some good leads, and they moved right in and took Stefan and his accomplice down right from under our noses. I'm sure the chief and the commissioner knew who did the real work. Thing is, I really wanted to question these guys and find out what they were really up to. I think this went beyond robbery and arson. I think they were planning something really big. 
I would have to agree with you. I can only guess it has something to do with completing his grandfather's grand scheme, which we never really fully understood. Just your everyday anarchist bent on destroying our country. Anarchist? Who are we talking about here? Hey, horse, Jim. Well, look here. A rookie. A real rookie. I, I just walked in. Uh, we were just talking about the two Von Langers. And what were their real motives? Maybe the feds will put the two of them together and we'll find out. Well, we had stopped by to talk to Tracy about the case. So you heard. I don't think anybody saw that one coming. You got that right. Listen, is there anything I can do for you gentlemen? I need to meet Hernandez on another case. No, we're good. We're just going to have a quick chat with the lieutenant, then go for lunch. All right. I'm off to save the world. Or do more legwork for the feds. I hear that. So why are you guys really here? We were hoping to catch you in. Yeah, have you heard anything about the replacement? If we go back to a non-IDF captain, your movements are going to be very, very restricted. I haven't heard anything. Pyramid City hasn't been informed if we'll be getting one of our people in the job or not. It would make things so much better for you. Yeah, especially if they need you for that fiasco happening with Wi-Fi and Lister. Say, what's the latest on that, by the way? Info has been spotty. We've got that nearly 30-hour delay in communications. The last we knew is that the Mercury was following Wi-Fi, supposedly headed for Titan IV. Well, Major Witt is with him. I'm sure they're safe. You are making the right decision, Major. The Mercury is safe as long as it maintains an orbit opposite of Wi-Fi. Well, there's the West Coast. Now where's this town you talked about? Continue on your present course. You should see the landing pad straight ahead. Blinking lights on both sides? That would be it. Do I need to call for clearance? This is visual flight rules only. I called ahead before we departed and reserved the pad. As part of our agreement, if I don't catch Lister and collect the one million, I'll turn in a voucher for my expenses. Expenses? For services rendered. I suggest you lock your vessel down, that there's no security here. Not a problem. I'll engage our electromagnetic field suppression system. Anyone comes near the bat and they'll get the shock of their life. Is it that bad here? This is what we call the Wild West. We are as far away from IDF control as you can get. The long arm of the law isn't long enough to reach here. So this is a completely lawless town? It's more self-regulating than anything else. The IDF sends a small force here every lunar cycle, but they don't stay long. The locals leave them alone, knowing that no trouble means a full cycle without outside interference. So we'll be safe enough in our uniforms? Hardly. You are Special Forces Marines, not IDF staff officers. The lunar visit was very recent, so there's no reason for you to be here rather than looking for a fugitive. And I imagine that almost everyone here is either a fugitive or related to one. That's why I brought these outer garments. Put these on over your uniforms and remove your boots and put on these leather booties. You can't be serious. Stow your weapons on board here and use these laser pistols. I gotta draw the line here. We're not going into this town armed with only these little pea shooters. Major, if you go into town with your squad automatic weapons and M19s, you won't last a micro-unit. I also suggest you remove your metal ID tags. Listen up. Store the saws. Put these boots on and these wraps. Remove your dog tags and use your shoulder holsters for your sidearms. Major, I insist you must leave the M19s here. If someone sees one, our ruse is over. I'll tell them I got it off a dead IDF soldier. You let me worry about this. People, your sidearm does not see the light of day unless we're in a life and death situation. Now, Jafra, why this town? Tyranus is the end of the line. 
Listler is working his way west, so we'll either come to us, or we'll have a better chance of intercepting him. Wi-Fi also sent that fighter to do a search of this hemisphere. My guess is he will make a stop over here. What makes you so sure? You've gone up against these pilots? What's been your experience? They're reckless, cocky, and have egos as big as this landing pad. And what do you think this pilot will do when he gets here at the end of his run? Tell Wi-Fi that he's gathering intel from the locals and then head to the nearest bar. Which is where we're going. I advise all of you to keep a low profile and don't try to engage the locals and stay out of trouble. Did you get that, Garcia? Hey. I resemble that remark. Let's roll. Agent Simon, were you able to settle in? Yes, and I see that my assistant has finally arrived. Hello, Tony. Long time no see. Not quite long enough for me, Sam. So what kept you on Earth for the last two days? I'm sure you remember that 7735 was part of that failed mission in Baltimore. Your brother? Yes. How could I forget? Both of you failed in your missions and lived. Except thanks to the IDF, I get to be a hero in my people's eyes, and he's a disgrace. Nothing like brotherly love. The IDF wanted me to interrogate him. I knew it was a waste of time, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Well, you're here now. We're looking to you, Sam, to help us get into the minds of these former Rage mercenaries. Lister is trying to bring them back into the fold under his rule, and Wi-Fi is trying to stop him. These rage soldiers were, for the most part, mercenaries. And if you have monetary units, you have an army. I've dealt with a lot of rage, but I'm sure I can be of some use to you. Sam, you wouldn't be here if we didn't feel that you could be of some use to us. If we just stand here wagging our chins, we won't be of any use to anyone. Yeah, he's right. What's the plan? We have one of our fastest shuttlecrafts headed for the Titan system. When you get there, a ship will take you to the IDF base on the western continent. This is the last known location of the Mercury. You realize that at this rate we'll have the entire IDF security force on Titan. I know that it seems that way. We need you there because of your relationship with Lister and Lenora. And Sam, being a Hongan, would never be suspected of working for the IDF. How do I explain being with Tony? Agent Simon is resuming his identity as a feared bounty hunter. You are his assistant. I need an assistant? For this mission, yes. You see, Agent Simon, you need me. Don't let it go to your head, Sam, because it may never find a way out. I, I don't understand. Precisely. You two make a great pair. Controller, he actually makes a good point. Why would the successful bounty hunter need a Hungan assistant? Because his Hungan assistant has these. What's this? We did promise you an embellished service record. Along with getting your records to reflect a successful operation on your last mission, you might remember that we were going to make you a war hero as well. The Distinguished Cross of Valor? This will open many doors for me. That is as high of an honor as we felt would fly under the radar of your government. Well, you pretty much have to be dead to get anything higher. How nice for you, Sam. You failed your mission, were captured alive, and then given one of the world's highest honors. Now that we have all established our new identities, when do we leave? At six bells, I'll send Ginger over to pick you up and take you to the shuttle. I have to wait until I hear six bells? No, Sam. Six bells is about three macro units from now. Very well, Controller. We'll be ready. Ready to answer the bell. Oh, do I really have to take him with me? How long do I have to fly the treetops? When do we clear the training area? We've cleared it. Climb to 500 and fly to these coordinates. There's an old airstrip there. We'll meet Master Lister there. Captain Tam better be with him, or you might be skydiving without a parachute. Switch to our scrambled frequency. Master Lister, this is Lenora. We're very close. Has the IDF responded yet? They've made several attempts to contact you. They have devoted Red Wing 3 to look for you. He should be discovering your wreckage soon. Put Captain Tam on. I'm here, Gabby. 
Congratulations on a successful operation, even though I don't support it. If she had not succeeded, we wouldn't be talking to you, Captain Tam. I've got news for you, Lenora. If it came to that, no one would be talking. Enough of this mindless chatter. Captain, I have a visual on the Ulysses. I have you at my three o'clock. Land aft of us and I'll lower the ramp. I think we all need to get together before proceeding. I agree, Master Lister. We need to discuss our plan from here. Land, but leave your craft running. We will meet you in the cargo bay. All right, clear the exit. Ramp is down. Clear to board. Okay, let's go. Glad to have you back, Gabby. Thanks, Cap. Enough of the family reunion. Lenora, was there any trouble? Everything went according to plan. Excellent. I commend you on your acting skills, Gabriella. Don't mention it, please. So what's the plan now? Sprague and my guard will stay here with the Ulysses. If they detect approaching IDF aircraft, he will move the ship to avoid detection. And the rest of us? We will board the C-10 and proceed to the outpost town of Tyrannus. Wait, I've heard about that place. There's no government or law there. A perfect place for my former troops to hide. We will begin our search there. By that time, you two will have been declared dead. And the IDF will withdraw to the East Coast. I'm not real happy about Lizard Boy flying my ship. He did all right getting us here. I don't think he'll break it. Lady and gentlemen, welcome to the most popular watering hole in the Titan system. The worst of the worst come here to knock off the cosmic dust and spend their fortune on drink, gambling and other assorted activities. Somebody stay close to Garcia. Hey, Garcia can take care of herself. Put that weapon away. That's just the thing that can cause us trouble. Don't worry, Jafra. My people can handle themselves. Now what are we looking for? Most former rage soldiers have a small tattoo on their neck. It will be a series of numbers. Look for scarves covering their neck or even scarring from trying to remove it. I take it you don't want us to take these people down? Correct. We'll use our hidden body cams to catalog them. What are you going to do? I shall look for and seek out the rage pilot. Now let's go. Now, this is my kind of place. You want us to split up? You and Jenkins head to the bar. The rest of us will go over to that open booth. If Jaffer spots the pilot, you three head outside and set up a perimeter. Remember to blend in. Jaffer, give us a signal if you spot him. If I spot him, I'll be talking to him. If it is the pilot, I will place both hands on my staff. You, bounty hunter. Your kind is not welcome here. Relax, my friend. I'm looking for an old acquaintance. I'm not here on official business. Go back your business, friend. Then leave. Yeah, your kind is not welcome here. My kind? Really? Bounty hunters. They love to come here and harass us. As I told you, I'm off duty. Now, if you don't mind, I think I spotted my friend in the corner over there. I suppose we can let you go about your business. Here, gentlemen. Have one on me. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but notice your uniform. Don't move, bounty hunter, or I'll slice you in half. 
Will Jaffra have to fight it out with this rage pilot? Will Lister arrive before Wit and his crew clear Tyrannus? And will Wi-Fi discover that the Mercury was not destroyed? Find out the answers to these questions and more in our next episode, Showdown at Tyrannus. The following message is for podcasters only. If you are a listener and not a podcaster, you are permitted to cover your ears and say la 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 for the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Podcasters, la, 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 if you create la, la, audio drama and or comedy, you are invited to join the brand new Mutual Audio Network. Not only will your productions be showcased in a brand new Netflix-ish type of distribution, but you'll also share in resources from music to sound effects to voices la, 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 to people saying la 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 la. la, la. For details, visit MutualAudioNetwork.com or inquire at MutualAudio at gmail.com. La, 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 la. You can stop la-laing now. Well, I can't hear you. Got my ears covered. La-la.